Hello, my name is John Yeary. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to set up a persistence library and use it inside of an EJB. First, I'm going to create a library Next, I'm going to create entity classes from the database. I'm going to select an existing database, add all of them, and I'm going to put them in the model package. I'm going to uncheck the create persistence unit because at this point we just want to create the entities. We do not want to use a persistence unit. Please note that you have to have a persistence unit if you expect to use this in a standalone application. I'm going to accept everything and accept the defaults. Please note that the library has a red exclamation point. This is because we're using JPA annotations, but we have not added the JPA library. In this case, I go into the properties and I actually select Eclipse Link JPA. Notice the red exclamation points have disappeared. Next, I'm going to create our EJB module. I'm going to use Glassfish 3.1 and Java EE6. Next, I'm going to add our library project. The next step is to add a persistence unit. I'm going to pick our example database, and I'm going to set the table generation strategy to none since we're using an existing database. From here, I'm going to add the classes from our library. Since they are not a part of the EJB module, I have to add them specifically. Finally, I'm going to actually create the session beans for those entity classes. I'm going to place them into the bean package and hit finish. Finally, please note that it was successfully deployed. Finally, we want to check our application and we'll see that it is deployed. Notice all the stateless session beans are listed here and that we're also using our library. That concludes this demonstration.